Hello Lean community. Good evening and welcome to another Lean series of video and today's topic is about communication, cooperation or collaboration. That is most important for team buildings and team success. Yes, you heard it right. Very important and very informative and very common and most asked. And every day necessary as well. Those who are leading the people, managing the project, coaching, mentoring, guiding, <coughs> I'm sorry. These three key word or the concept is regular basis either every hour or every task involved, deeply involved because without a communication you don't know the status, even you don't know the people. Without cooperation, your flow not going to be there. You're going to be slow stopper or stop sometimes. And without collaboration, it's not possible to manage or leading a multi-team, multi-environment or multi-project in the same platform or same environment. So total organization, total organizational success is dependent on collaboration as well as team success and team building. Whatever we say, high performing teams or cross train or relentless improvement or fostering the team buildings or for starting collaboration you can have those terminology very often so let's not waste more time let's see this three keyword or concept how is how they are defined and what are the importance of daily life as a scrum master or a project leader or project manager first thing is communication yes it is first because a b c f and c c is the most beginning letter so communication is the key to success in a world i don't need to explain what does it mean you know better And the number two concept was cooperation. Another important terminology, cooperate team to team, person to person, resource to resource, leader to leader. The other hand, you can say it's put your hands on all the time. They bring the food and drinks or forward the task to the next level so your flow is continuous and smooth and the last not for least and this is the most important for starting collaboration this word is kind of is not um, very common using but whenever you are going to uh, have a training classes, boot camp, or any kinds of team building facilitation. You're going to see this word fostering collaboration. So, fostering collaboration is the most important and most useful for organizational structure 
um, building, team building, program success, project success, and team success as well. And as a leader, your success. So let's see what is fostering collaboration and why is important. So in lack of fostering collaboration, what's going to happen between developers and tester? Let testing poor quality, low velocity. If there is no collaboration with developer and tester, those problems going to happen. You're going to see poor quality, low velocity. And testing is not progressing. Number two, among developers, if they, they don't have any collaboration, technical debt, poor knowledge sharing, and too much weep is going to happen. Among developers and between the product owner and the rest of the team, if there is no collaboration, what is going to happen? Misunderstanding of acceptance criteria, low value city. The last with other teams, if there is no collaboration with team to team, uncontrolled dependencies, sense of false progresses. So, most important collaboration. Three concept is important. No doubt about it. But the collaboration is most important. And it's called fostering collaboration, the keyword is remember hope you enjoyed and like my video thanks for watching see you next time